Good evening, uh, BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny. Um, I thought I'd make a video since it's the first day of the new week. It is a Sunday here in West Michigan. It is 5.23 in the evening. It is January the 10th, 2021. Yeah, and it's kind of quiet around here tonight. My wife went to church. My wife feels kind of uncomfortable going to church because people in her church don't wear masks. And we are in this uh, COVID-19 plague. But some people take the idea of wearing a mask as submitting to the U.S. government and to show their rebellion and their unsubmission to the government and to loving their neighbors. They, did, they have determined not to wear a mask to show that they are free from the tyranny of the government and that they don't believe that COVID-19 is a really serious worldwide killing plague. But my wife went because she loves going to church. She loves the preaching of God's word. She loves God's people and she wants to support, support her um, local church. So she's always kind of torn. But my, love, my wife has always loved the people of God and loved the communion of the saints. And she, uh, so she's always kind of torn because people in her church don't wear a uh, mask and they seek to spread this plague because they think it's fake news. Anyway, here in West Michigan, it is January the 10th. It is going on six o'clock in the evening. And I thought I'd make a video since it's a new week and I got a bunch of books to show. Still reading the Holy Bible. I love the Word of God. We have to read the Bible, especially during these times of political upheaval and tyranny and insurrection and rebellion against the authorities of the government, especially Trump. Trump has become kind of a dictator, kind of a tyrant. And I've been reading through... Uh, uh, I'm still in the uh, first and second kings, so I'm reading that. Uh, as far as my diary for 2021 January, I ended on page 34 for the year 2021. And I have my January the 11th, 2021 diary ready for tomorrow morning. So, as far as what I've been reading, today I read a book I got in the mail. I got this book in the mail the other day. I've been looking, uh, I ordered this several weeks ago, but, but due to the COVID-19 plague, the mail service has been really slow, but I got this finally in the mail. Uh, Jan Van Rossenbach, Mystical Theologian of the Trinity by Rick and Van Noverhaven. I'm sure if I'm pronouncing his Dutch name incorrectly but I got this in the mail as you know one of my favorite books is this book and the classics of Western spirituality uh, by John Ruderbrick the spiritual spousals and other works I read this almost every year and this came out in 1985 I bought this when we were in Houston Texas about 30 years ago, maybe 30, 31, 32 years ago, when I did my internship as a minister in Covenant PCA in Houston, Texas, I would go down to the local uh, downtown Houston to St. Mary's Bookstore and I start collecting 
the classics of Western spirituality, and I bought that there. One of my favorite books, especially the treatise, The Spiritual Spousals. I highly recommend it. And I also been reading Angelic Spirituality, Medieval Perspectives on the Ways of Angels and what Classics of Western Spirituality. Still reading The Spiritual Life by the Dutch theologian Campius van Regla. This is a really great book. I highly recommend it. Still reading in the morning for morning worship. Late medieval mysticism of the Low Countries and classic Western spirituality. So that's uh, still reading the Psalms of David in the Old Testament. And what else? I got this used book in the mail the other day, L.A. Confidential by James Elroy. I've been collecting his crime novels for several years, and I didn't have this one. I ordered tonight his novel, uh, what's it called? Oh, I can't remember now. White Jazz, I ordered by him. White Jazz by James Elroy. I have, I've been trying to get all his novels his crime fiction that takes place in L.A. Uh, I also been re -re I started reading again Jonathan Buckley, The Great Concert of the Night, a novel by Jonathan Buckley. And I got this out because I, pre uh, I ordered another novel of his that's coming out in February called uh, Live, Live, Live. So I wanted to finish this before I get his new one next month. Now I'm going to show you the used books that I got at thrift stores this week. I want to get, I want to get them down this, in the lower level before we get into the new week. I found uh, at uh, the local Goodwill Carlos Baker's very famous authoritative work, Emerson Among the Eccentrics, a group portrait. This is a very famous book. Carlos Baker also did a very famous biography on Hemingway that is considered a classic. But this is his classic on, he on, on Emerson Among the Eccentrics. I already had an, a paperback of this in our library that I read many uh, several years ago. This came out in 1986. And I was so pleased to find a pristine hardback edition, Jack, uh, what's it called, Deckled Edges. It looks absolutely in perfect condition. So I have now two copies. Anybody who wants this copy, who lives in the United States, I will mail it to you if you know my middle name. If you know my middle name, I'll send this to you if you live in the United States. I can't, fo uh, I can't afford postage if you live in Siberia or in Taiwan or in some remote uh, African country. But if you live in the United States, uh, I'll mail this to you. I also found a novel I, when I cataloged this in my library thing, I already had it. The Mirrors by A.P. Soprino. Soprino? I had this already in our library. So I'm going to donate this to our local library, little library. I also had this book in our library, and I didn't know it. It only cost me about 25 cents. The Book Borrower, a novel by Allison Mallison. So I'll donate this in the local library, little 
book thing. I didn't have this book in our Lincoln, our Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln collection. Lincoln by Littles by Lewis Lutheran, Lathran, Lathman, with images from the Guider Lathman collection. So kind of photos of Lincoln in here. Just a little biographical uh, information about him. I got this for our Lincoln collection. I didn't have this novel in our library. Mystery Writer, a novel by Robert Boswell. I didn't have this. And I didn't have this novel in our library. An Obituary Writer by Porter Sheeve. Uh, it was recommended by the very uh, famous writer Tim O'Brien, which I found another novel of his at uh, thrift store this week. Tim O'Brien's novel, "If You If I Die in the Combat Z Combat Zone," box me up and ship me home. His novels are kind of Vietnam. They have the background of the Vietnam War in the '60s. And he recommended this novel, The, Batch, the Obituary Writer by Porter Sheeve. Tim O'Brien, quote, uh, taught, compelling, and moving, beautifully written, engrossing from start to finish. Uh, so I got this. It looked kind of interesting. It was only 25 cents. I got this for 25 cents, too. Then I found a novel at uh, a thrift store, Memories of a Marriage by Louis Begley. You all know that one of my favorite writers, American writers, is Louis Begley. I didn't have this one, and I was really pleased to find it. And then I found this historical uh, American thing on Eben... Uh, Eisenhower, Dwight Eisenhower, Eisenhower, Three Days in January, Dwight Eisenhower, The Final Mission. It's when Eisenhower hands over the reins of power to John F. Kennedy. And you all know I collect book and, books on Kennedy, Dwight Eisenhower, Truman, uh, Nixon, Reagan, People like that. So I got those. I also found another novel by Andre Cambre. He's an Italian. He has a series out called the Inspector Montbreno Mysteries. This one's called The Shape of Water. Uh, I've been watching, not watching, but reading this novel as I've been watching the professional football uh, playoffs the last couple of days, I've been reading this. I already have these in our book collection. His novel, August Heat, The Age of Doubt by Andre Camarelli. And then I have Excursions to Tangera, The Patience of the Spider, and Angel Angelina's Smile. I collect these for our library. I also found another book on Sigmund Freud this week. Uh, Freud, Conflict and Culture, Essays on His Life, Work, and Legacy, edited by Michael S. Roth. You all know I have shown books on Freud, biographies, his writings, Cultural Context, I collect books on Freud. And then I found, what else did I find this week? So I always find interesting books at the local thrift stores. And I also found this book, John Donne, Complete English Poems. Stay of Execution. A memoir by Stuart Asap. I, I found a couple of months ago another memoir by Joseph Asap's brother, Joseph Asap, who they were journalists. 
uh, around the 60s and 70s. They were stationed in New uh, Washington, D.C. They were communists. My favorite biographies that I read a couple years ago, Taking on the World, Joseph and Stuart Epsop, Guardians of the American Century by Robert W. Mary. You can see them on the cover. So I was kind of pleased to find this biography. Well, not biography, but memoir of Stuart Assop because a couple of months ago I had found a biography on his brother Joseph Assop and I really enjoyed this biography that I read a couple of years ago. This came out in 1996. So I found this biography this week, uh, State of Execution, a sort of memoir a sort of memoir by Stuart Atsop. I also have this book on the cover is Stuart and Joseph Atsop, Georgetown set Friends and Rab Rivals in Cold War in Washington by Greg Harkin. I read this a couple of years ago and I got it out because as you all know I have to have all the books by Joseph or Stuart Asop in the same stack. This another book was Joseph Asop, My Three Fathers, The Elegant and Deceptions of the Mother, Joseph Mary Asop by William S. Patton. Apparently Joseph Asop, he married later in life a woman named Mary and apparently she was pregnant with somebody else's child when she married him. So it's a memoir. So that's what I've been uh, used book haul, thrift store haul, what I've been reading. I, like I said, I, I pre-ordered a new novel by Jonathan Buckley, Live, 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 published by the New York Review. Classics Classics coming out next month. I was really pleased to find this book, uh, hardback, perfect condition, deckel edge. I had already in paperback, but it's just a wonderful book. This is a classic. I highly recommend it if you're into 19th century biography, if you're into all, into Emerson and Thoreau and Alcott and. Uh, Mar Margaret Fuller and it's just a wonderful book and if you like crime read LA Confidential by John, uh, James Alroy above all read the Bibles read the Word of God and if you're going through troubled times during this plague read the Psalms so as far as what I've been reading today is just uh, Andre Camareri, The Shape of Water, uh, Inspector Monbreno Mystery. So yeah, it's a Sunday night. My wife went to church. I've been writing in my diary, reading my books, watching professional football playoffs, and just waiting for tomorrow to come. So I hope you're having, you had a good week. You had a good weekend of reading. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the subscribers. And I uh, hope you're all doing well during these very uh, dark times. And uh, that's about it. I have books coming in the mail this week and uh, I'll show those in future videos. So once again, I thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments. And do pray that you're all having a good new year. And until next time, bye.